I asked you to come alone and unarmed. Yeah, well, alone I ain't never gonna do, am I? And as for the cane, don't worry about it. That's just my sciatica. It always plays up around the winter and the summer solstice. What have you got for me, Alfie? What should you bring me out here for? It's on the way to someone I need to be in a hurry. Yeah. What have you got for me? Well, seeing as you was prepared to pay such an exorbitant amount with this information, I decided to give you value for money. So, here are the names of all the men in England whom I would approach, right, if I had a Fabergé egg for sale. Here you go. And then here's all the men on that list, uh, you know, who would buy the old Fabergé egg, even if they knew that that item was stolen. Yeah? And then come your curious fucking Jippo question, I won't ask, but um, there's a list of the men who would buy a Fabergé because of their wives' obsession. Oh, yes, thank you, Mr. Shelby. Lovely doing business with you. Did I? Yeah. I've already spoken to my people in the jewellery quarter, experienced dealers. They tell me there are only three men in Britain whose wives are obsessed with Fabergé, make some good customers. You missed the richest one off the list. Yeah, well, if you knew already, how come you dragged me all the way out in a fucking hogged, mate? Two reasons. Reason one, by withholding a name that you most certainly know, you've proven to me that you've done a deal with the odd fellows. It was you who told him about the tunnel. You who told him about the fucking deal with the Soviets. Reason two, the name of the man that you're withholding must be my enemy, otherwise you wouldn't be protecting him. He's now a man I can use. Listen, sweetie, you can't take a man... You gave information in exchange for the share. Well, he told me there were things in that treasury, right? God himself, he spoke to me and he said, Alfie, you were meant to have these things. You crossed the line, Alfie. You fucking walk. You cross the line. The line? They're using my boy! Do you fucking know? Yeah, I knew, you know, but damned as I am, it made no fucking difference to me, mate. Tell me, hey, hey, you gone fucking angry, ain't you? You got fucking yeah, angry, no. fucking angry, man. Oh, yeah, no. oh, oh, this bastard, he's this bastard, he's not. He's fucking you a fucking angry. Oh, no. This bastard deserves it. I fucking know. Right. But if you kill him now, the truth with the London outfits will be run to fucking pieces. Michael. All right. Michael. Don't worry about that truth, kid. Right? Because it's just it fell apart. All right. You've got nothing to worry about when it comes to the old scary London boys. What fucking side do you want out of a fuck right now, kid? What? I do not want him to spare me because of some fucking peace pact. I want him to acknowledge that his anger is unfucking justified. I want him to acknowledge that he who fights by the sword, he fucking dies by it, Tommy. I thought they took your boy, didn't they? Yeah? You got your boy. And what fucking line am I supposed to have crossed? How many fathers, right? How many sons, yeah? Have you cut, killed, murdered, fucking butchered, innocent and guilty to send them straight to fucking hell, ain't you? Just like me! You fucking stand there. You, judging me, stand there and talk to me about crossing some fucking line. If you pull that trigger, right, you pull that trigger for a fucking honourable reason. Like an honourable man, not like some fucking civilian that does not understand the wicked way of our world, mate. Look, Ty, 
The killing of Alfie Solomons is not gonna help. This will be very bad for business. Uh, Marco? I'll go and call Inspector Moss. Tell him it's Palmer. Well said, Alfie. Well said. I did not know about you, boy, though. I know. I saw. 